Hi all, this time I wanted to talk to you about what had me started this whole laser experience. Stick around. I've been always fascinated by sacred geometry and mathematical patterns. You can find these everywhere in visual arts, music, design. They make a great combination with the laser as that tool can really have a great precision while cutting or engraving. Based on what you program, the whole idea started to develop and then I felt the urge to start making objects that would aim to have their own character. There were some concepts that were haunting me for a long time. So today I will show you the versions of my prototypes that have been on my mind for some time. I'll make three lampshades based on those three mathematical patterns Fibonacci sequence. In that case that's the sunflower seed pattern, the flower of life and Japanese art inspired Kumiko pattern. For all three I used 1mm balsa wood which cuts very easily with a diode laser. However, it starts fire even easier. A strong air support is needed, not to let the material burn. Ok, so first things first, before we start any cutting we need to have the focus in place. Um, since the last time I um, added an adjustment to the laser, um, I installed focus knob which makes uh, my life much easier. Now you can fine tune the laser beam with greater precision than, than before. Here I'm showing you uh, the close up with the macro lens and you can see how turning the laser knob makes the, the beam thicker or, or lighter. In order to have the best focus you should have a tiny rectangle which, which will then be the cutting point of the material. Ok, I think we are getting there, so let's move on to the next thing. Alright, so let's start with the Fibonacci sequence. Probably many of you already heard about it, but let me just quickly summarize what is it about. Um, this is a sequence where each number is the sum of the two preceding ones. So we start with 0, 1, then we go with the 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21, etc. So um, that forms this um, visual of um, that uh, golden ratio spiral that you can see here. And that uh, pattern, this is uh, very much used by the nature um, and many things starting from how the rabbits populate uh, ending up on how plants grow their leaves or petals uh, or in this case I chose the sunflower seed pattern. To me this is hypnotizing how nature chose the seeds to distribute into this spiral. I will put some links in the description if you're interested in reading more about the, the sequence. Ok, so getting back to the cutting process. Um, with the focused laser we can start putting in place the balsa wood. Because of the air pressure I had to add some sticking tapes to keep the material in place. All the tiny elements that were cut out were flying around the whole area. Choosing a proper scale for this project was a bit tricky. Well, there has to be enough material to keep all the holes in place. The spaces between holes cannot be too small. And then the final part would be putting it all together. Uh, for that purpose I used just a sticking tape as this is a prototype. As a final solution I will need to design some sort of a frame to keep this lampshade in place. Here in the zoom in you can see that the holes were actually cut very nicely, there is not much residual, not that much of a burnt material, but it is quite clean for a laser job.
Here I added a LED light with the fading colors and there are two side mirrors to show you the lamp from, from different angles. I think it's very nice in terms of how the light distributes. I need to experiment also with the light source because depending on how sharp it is it can give more or less shadow so that would be a nice thing to, to check. Moving on to the next one, so now we have the flower of life pattern. That one is consisted of uh, overlapping circles. Um, that's also very historical pattern which is often used in architectural. There are many variations of the pattern. I use one of the simpler ones. I will also put a link below to this article if you're interested you can we can read more. Well, in this case the cutting wasn't so easy. I used the same settings as for the first lamp, but for some reason the balsa wood in this instance was more dense in some places, so not all elements were cut out. I had to then manually cut them out with a sharp knife. That was the first element of the four pieces. Uh, for the remaining three I increased the power of the laser not to play with the knife again. Because of how the pattern distributes, I had to make a bit taller lamp. Here is how I assembly. I use the same method with a sticking tape. Here you may also see the same scene with the LED light and two side mirrors. The last lamp had the best final result, here it was much more complex pattern, here we had much longer distances for the laser to cut and the final result came out very very nicely. I'm talking of course about the Kumiko pattern. After the first two lampshades here I already knew what errors not to repeat, so I think it came out the best in terms of quality. The whole process looked very similar, so after cutting the material I'll use sticking tape to put it in place. And here the familiar set with the two mirrors and the LED lights. Kumiko is the traditional Japanese art of making wooden lampshades. I hope my version of that wasn't an abomination for the master woodworkers, as the original Kumiko lamp is uh, handcrafted and takes hours and a lot of skills to make. Already mentioned, but definitely the light source is worth investigating. I think the whole concept was that this lampshade would really give a nice shadow onto the surrounding materials so here you can see all the three lamps if you put the source of the light next to it it gives a nice shadow on the surrounding wall so i think that's what i want to achieve as a final final result Balsa wood is a um, really nice material to cut on a diode laser, but if you don't give it enough air to get rid of the fire, 
then it will burn like hell. Um, I just keep my eyes away for a couple minutes and that is what I had. Big hole in the whole project. So um, that's of course dangerous. Don't try it at home. And uh, yeah, that's another test. Um, probably you don't see that, but um, the edges are very uneven. There is a lot of burnt parts, which doesn't look really nice if you look closely. I think I gave it too little power and the edges were not fully cut in some of the places. And yeah, one of the first trials as well, too little air and a lot of burnt edges, so yeah, I don't want that. I was happy with the final result of the prototypes, but the final product will need to be more solid structure to keep the lamps in place. Um, I plan to use more dense wood with a nicer grain. Balsa seems too delicate for that purpose, um, but for prototypes I think it, it works well. I will update the links in the description after the lamps will be ready and available for sale. Thank you all for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video, please hit like and subscribe. Talk to you soon, bye bye.